DeepSeek just dropped Ingram, a breakthrough system that separates memory from thinking. Dramatically reduces GPU memory cost by offloading to cheap DRAM and achieves a 97% accuracy on long context test where normal models hit 84%. And the crazy part is, this was not some flashy announcement. Gipsy quietly released the paper three days ago with their founder's name on it. Open up the code on GitHub and the community immediately realized this might be the blueprint for DeepSeek V4, which people are speculating could drop sometime soon, possibly around mid-February based on community rumors. So let's talk about it. Alright, so here is the problem in drum swaps. And once you understand it, everything clicks into place. Every single large language model right now, GPT, Claude, Gemini, all of them waste huge amounts of expensive GPU power on something ridiculously simple. Remembering basic facts, when you ask a model to recall that Paris is the capital of France or that the Python syntax uses import numpy as np, the model does not just look it up. It burns through multiple layers of attention, activates thousands of parameters, and basically reconstructs that fact from scratch every single time. And Deep Six paper called this out directly. They said models are forced to simulate retrieval through deep logic circuits when they should be doing a simple hash table lookup. It's like using a calculator to remember your phone number instead of just looking it up in your contacts. That inefficiency sits at the heart of why AI costs are exploding right now. And it's exactly what Ingram fixes. Here is how it works. Ingram introduces what it calls conditions on memory, which is basically a separate memory bank that sits alongside the normal neural network. Instead of forcing the model to use expensive GPU memory for everything, Ingram takes common patterns, things like named entities, frequent phrases, calling templates and stores them in a cheap CPU RAM using a super fast lookup system. The lookup happens in over one time, meaning it's instant no matter how big the memory bank gets. So the model checks the memory bank first, grabs what it needs in a split second, and only uses the GPU for actual thinking, reasoning, planning, complex stuff that actually needs computation. And the kicker is that Ingram can offload up to 100 million parameters into regular system RAM without slowing down inference at all. Dipsic tested this and reported that the throughput penalty was less than 3% and that's basically nothing. Now the technical architecture behind Ngram is where things get really interesting. The system uses something called modernized Ngram embeddings, which is an old school concept that DeepSeek rebuilt from the ground up for modern AI. Now, Ngram is just a sequence of two or three tokens in a row, like import numpy or the capital of. Ngram takes those sequences, compresses them into a standardized form, so the Apple and Apple map to the same concept and then uses multi-head hashing to store them in a giant embedding table. And because it uses hash functions, it avoids the memory explosion problem that happens when you try to store every possible combination. The hash maps patterns to embeddings super efficiently, and if there is a collision, the multi-head setup catches it. And then there is the context-aware gating layer, which is honestly brilliant. Every time Ingram retrieves something, the model checks whether that memory actually fits the current situation. If it does not make sense in context, the gate value drops towards zero and the model ignores it. This prevents the system from blindly injecting wrong information just because the lookup matched. DeepSeek trained a 27 billion parameter model called Ingram 27B to test this architecture, and the results were absolutely wide. They compared it directly against MOE 27B, which is a standard mixture of experts model with the exact same total parameters and the same activated parameters. Same compute budget, same training data, same everything. The only difference was that Ingram 27B took some of those parameters and moved them into the conditional memory system. And across the board, Ingram 27B destroyed the baseline. In knowledge-intensive tasks, Ingram scored 3.4 to 4 percent points higher. In reasoning benchmarks like ARC Challenge and Big Bench Hard, it jumped from 70.1% accuracy to 73.8%, which is a 3.7 point improvement. In math and coding tasks, it showed similar gains. But the real shock came from long context testing. On the MIAH benchmark, which is the needle in a haystack test, Ingram hit 97% accuracy compared to 84.2% for the MOE baseline. 
that's a 13 point jump which is insane for long context retrieval and here is why that matters long context accuracy is one of the hardest problems in ai right now most models start losing coherence after a few thousand tokens because they cannot keep track of everything nram fixes this by offloading the local pattern matching to memory lookups which frees up the atoms and layers to focus on global extended instead DeepSeq tested this by extending the context window to 32,768 tokens using a technique called Weren. And Ingram 27B outperformed the baseline on almost every single metric. On ruler benchmarks, which test multi hop reasoning and symbolic tracking, Ingram absolutely crossed it. In the multi query needle in a haystack test and variable tracking task, it showed massive gains. And the model stayed stable even when handling extremely long inputs, which is something most models struggle with. Now, DeepSeq also discovered something that has huge implications for how we build AI going forward. They formulated what they call the sparsity allocation problem which is basically asking this question. If you have a fixed number of parameters and fixed amount of compute, how should you split the capacity between dynamic reasoning experts and static memory? And when they tested different splits, they found a U-shaped curve. Pure MOE models where 100% of the capacity goes to experts were suboptimal. And pure Ngram models where most of the capacity goes to memory were also suboptimal. The sweet spot was right in the middle, where roughly 75 to 80 percent of the spot's capacity goes to MOE experts and 20 to 25 percent goes to Ngram memory. That ratio held across multiple model sizes and training regions, which suggests it's a fundamental scaling law, not just a random result. And then there is the infinite memory region which is where this gets even crazier. DeepSeq found that if you hold a GPU compute fix and just keep adding more memory in CPU RAM, model performance scales linearly. That means you can make the model smarter without buying more GPUs, without increasing training costs, and without hitting the high bandwidth memory bottleneck that's choking the entire AI industry right now. This is huge because HPM, the ultra-fast memory inside GPUs, is in massive shortage globally. Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron cannot make it fast enough, and prices are skyrocketing. DeepSeq's approach sidesteps that entire problem by saying, OK, we will use regular DRAM instead, which is cheap, abundant, and scales easily. And because Ngram uses deterministic addressing, the system can prefetch embeddings from CPU memory ahead of time. So there is almost no latency penalty. The system efficiency aspect is something people are not talking about enough. DeepSeq demonstrated offloading a 100 billion parameter embedding table entirely to host memory using PCIe. And inference throughput barely dropped. They said the penalty was less than 3%, which means you can deploy models with trillion parameter memory banks without needing specialized hardware. And honestly, that changes the economics of AI completely. Right now, companies are spending millions on GPU clusters just to store model weights in fast memory. If Ngram works at scale, those costs drop dramatically because you can shift a huge chunk of the model's parameter storage to a cheap RAM and only use the GPU for actual computation. Of course, there are still limitations. The system works best for static patterns and frequent tokens. It does not help as much with brand new information or highly dynamic reasoning tasks. And DeepSeq admitted that the model still struggles with certain age cases, like processing extremely massive or unlabeled data. But the overall direction is clear. Conditional memory is not just a nice to have feature, it's becoming a fundamental building block for next generation sparse models. DeepSeq even said in the paper that they envision conditional memory as an indispensable modeling primitive going forward, which is strong language for a research paper. That's where we will warp it up. The big question now is how this plays out when V4 actually launches. If Ingram delivers in production the way it did in the paper, we might be looking at a new category leader in coding, long context reasoning, and cost efficiency. Drop your thoughts below. Make sure you are subscribed, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next one.